In an attempt to support their own allegations that the EU is funding anti-Israel NGOs, an Israeli watchdog group is suing the European Union to reveal all the details of financial support to Israeli and Palestinian organizations. The European Union, a government body composed of 27 member states, provides at least 177 million shekels. This is over a period of three years, and I say at least because there's a lot of information that we don't know, and we'll, that's the reason for this lawsuit. Many of these organizations, Adala, Iramim, Arij, Yeshtin, the Palestinian Center for Human Rights, and many others, are at the core, at the center of the campaign to demonize Israel, to delegitimize Israel, terms like calling Israel an apartheid state. A new spokesman told the Jerusalem Post that the European Commission has provided Professor Steinberg with comprehensive information on the funding of projects in Israel and in the region, and that the extensive information at Professor Steinberg's disposal is proof of this. Yet Steinberg said that despite years of private requests, a lot of information is yet to be made public, and he even received some documents with blocked out details. So we filed this suit in order to obtain the information that we felt should have been available years ago. Reluctantly, as a last resort, having exhausted every other opportunity, every other venue for obtaining the information. And in principle, all documents of the institutions should be accessible to the public. These are wonderful concepts. And I think everyone here would agree that if the EU were to actually comply with its own regulations, we wouldn't be standing here today uh, having this press conference. The European Commission, the executive branch of the European Union, funds over 60 Israeli or Palestinian NGOs, according to Steinberg. He says that about two-thirds of them work to delegitimize Israel. On what basis does the European Union accept the, those applications? Why is it that in many years after year, the same organizations tend to get the same money? What evaluations take place, both as an Israeli, I'm also a European, a British, so as a British taxpayer, I'd be concerned about that. The European Union said in response that its funding supports specific projects in certain areas, like support for human rights or civil society support to the peace process, and that the EU's choices are based on established and public criteria. If Steinberg wins his lawsuit, the European Union will have to release all information on support of NGOs in the region. The process should embarrass democratic officials from the European Union who promote issues like transparency to realize how absurd this policy is and provide the information. Once the information is out there, then you can have a much broader and, and, and realistic debate about whether the processes are fair, whether the due process actually takes place, who are the people are involved. Then we have to see where it goes. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post, J-Post TV.